So now we're going through a new part of Shadow Moses, kind of, sort of. You kind of cut through a couple different areas, but hey. Naomi and Vamp won the security camera. Well, this is where they went. You can see their footsteps. Ah, clever. And then they gated Again, it off. the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Why does Vamp have such hot feet? Is it from all the pirouettes? <laughs> I guess. He doesn't seem like the guy that would walk heavy on his toes. Yeah. He doesn't really, he doesn't really, you know, come off as being heavy-footed. If he can walk on water, why doesn't he just float above the, the snowflakes? My god. That would be amazing. Imagine a if fight could... scene where he jumped from snowflake to snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be everyone's favorite part of the game, and you know it. Yep. So this is the area it kind of we cut across into. It's, he um, could high-five God <laughs> during a good storm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a mer- it's, um, it's kind of hard to tell, but that trench right there is actually where you first fight Cyber Wolf the first time, where Meryl gets shot. Oh um, that was actually an outdoor area, you just couldn't tell because the draw distance was so short. Um, <laughs> it's been snowed in, and this is also the area with the two comm towers. No, this boss fight is. Most people are kind of eh on this boss fight. I remember you playing this when I was over sometime, and it took forever. Yeah, that was because I was doing it the. That was my run through where I was trying to trank her, and I was cheesing it um, by staying in one place where it's easy to hide. It's un it's underneath that truck right there. Yeah, that that rings bells. <laughs> yep. Um. But for this fight, nah, I'm not gonna do that, because it's lame. The, the fight is fun if you try not to play it off just as a sniper-only fight. Like, if you chase after and stuff. But, um... There is a little bit of editing for this fight, just because it is a long fight anyways, even when you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, if there's any parts... So, like explain trying to, to me about this fight. Mm. She, she is trying to kill you with snipery weapons. Yes, she has... Mounted inside a wolf suit. Yeah, she has the railgun that Fortune uses. 
Oh! Is yeah. it the same exact one or like it's, the same model? It's but... the same model. It looks okay. exactly the same and has the same sound effects and everything. But, like, she didn't take it off of Fortune's corpse. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. But for this fight, obviously, it's more than just Crying Wolf. We've got a bunch of frogs, too. Um, the, the weather uh, gets... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Hello Seawolf. But no, it, the weather changes from just being kind of snowy to like w really windy and snowy. And when there's lots of snow, uh, the frogs have limited visibility, so you can run around more during that time. So limited, they can touch you with their claw feet and not <laughs> notice. Yeah. But there's one gimmick that Sniper Wolf has. You probably won't be able to figure it out on yourself, by yourself, unless you call Otacon. You mean Cry Wolf? Yes. Are you having flashbacks too? Yes, I think I think I am. But no, um how, how are your telomeres? What's going on, buddy? <laughs> uh Terminator genes or something, I don't know. <laughs> but no, see on the the solid eye how um like there's a circle on us and it kinda like stretches in one direction. Mm -hmm. Um it changes uh oh and uh Cyberwolf can throw grenades up at you. I say Sniper Wolf again, god damn it. <laughs> wolf. The Wolf Lady. The robot yes. Wolf Lady. But, Who does snipe, but that's not her name. Yeah, but um... The the way your circle stretches um, indicates um, which way the wind is blowing your scent. <laughs> yeah. Because Sniper Wolf has computer sensors that lets her smell you. And when the wind blows your scent in her direction, she'll immediately know where you are, where you're at, and she'll either start sniping at you, or she'll, she'll come charging at you. She doesn't just snipe, she can also throw grenades from her robo-suit, and she can also, um, ram you and pounce on you. Yeah. What's the point of a robot-suit if you can't get up close and personal? Yeah. And unfortunately, um... Her robot, her robo dog suit is heavily armored, so most guns, if you just try to shoot the suit, won't really mm -hmm. do anything. Also, I think she knows where I'm at right now, or just about to know. Her sobbing is making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Not like, you know, oh, this is atmospheric and, and effective. Uh, no, no it's, it's just awkward and creepy. Mm -hmm. to, uh, oh, out of It's calm. unpleasant. Helping me. Thanks, buddy. Her, her real gun does a ton of damage if you get shot by it. There she is. Maybe her real gun could shoot a much smaller nuclear warhead untraceably. <laughs> a really tiny one. Across combat. But yeah, when she's sniping, she exposes herself, and a single headshot will take off a quarter of her health. Hallelujah. And while bullets don't really do to anything or do any damage to her. Grenades will knock her over and do a little bit of damage when she falls over. Nice. Even like the strongest sniper rifles, the one I haven't bought yet that has an S rank for damage, even that one can't hurt her. But grenades. No, it doesn't look that much like a wolf. Not really. It's in the fine detail. Why does it have a tail? What purpose does the tail serve? Is it just to look like a wolf? I guess. Maybe maybe it's some I don't know, maybe the, the explanation is that it's a sensor of some sort. I don't know. Is, is that the scent sensor? They're placed um, all along the tail? I don't know. You, you, if you're close that, to her... and she That makes sense. Yeah. If you're close to her, but she doesn't know where you're at, and she, you can see her start smelling stuff, and her suit like makes beepy boopy noises, and she puts like the, the head part down on the ground, kind of like sniffs. She doesn't really do anything with the tail. Yeah, it's just misdirection, so you don't see the importance of the tail. Oh. Yeah, you, right. you assume it's just some pointless doodad for, for uh, decoration for the wolf motif. But really, <laughs> very sensitive instruments. Yeah. And, yeah after... and now we hug the snow. Oh, I love you, snow. But yeah, then you have to eventually hunt her down again, so we'll just skip those parts because it's pretty slow. But, um, 
Oh, and you can also trace her by footsteps with infrared. You're getting pretty stressed out there, dude. <clears throat> yeah, the snow, the snow and wind and the the cold takes your takes your salmon out pretty quick. Also, being caught does that. Why is the camera going to wolf vision? That means she's caught your scent and she's coming oh, after you. Oh, okay. And she has one attack that's a real bitch. This takes off half your health. And then she pounces on you again. Better shoot her. Oops. I hurt myself too. Oh, now we're all grody. Mm hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that. When you're doing a big boss run, or. Yeah, big boss emblem run, that attack really sucks because it takes off three quarters of your health. Uh, yeah, on normal it's just a quarter, which isn't too bad, but she can activate it from kind of far away, and then once she's activated, you can't dodge it, which is kind of dumb. Oh, and one other thing is, um, I think I think it, I think it was brought up in the thread, but I never said it in the video. So here we go. Um, you know, all the bosses are like combinations of the bosses from the previous three games. Yeah. But you couldn't. The MGS2 part of them really isn't that noticeable, except for Crying Wolf. She's got Fortune's weapon, the ri uh, the real gun. Mm. All the other. Uh, Beauties also attack with one of the weapons one of the MGS2 bosses used. Raging really? Raven. Raging Raven. Well, Raging Raven doesn't really count, I think. But who, who used Fat Man's bomb? It's uh, the X. Apparently, is supposed to be Raging Raven because she uses explosives, but those are grenades oh, okay. and not really bombs. But then, um, Laughing Octopus. One, she has. The, uh, Solidus's tentacles, and she uses the P90, which is the gun Solidus used in like a couple of cutscenes. Uh -huh. And then we haven't um, seen her yet, but the. Use your Pentasmin in But um, the one boss we haven't seen yet, she uses vamps, weapons, throwing knives. Nice. Does she dance? No, she doesn't Waste dance. Waste of a boss. We need dancing. <laughs> we really need a boss that's a flamenco dancer. Yes. Yes, we do. Devil May Cry 4 got close, but it was you who was the, the flamenco dancer. Basically, the next uh, big boss era game, he should invade uh, the set of pirate <laughs> radio and he'll have a dance-off against Gavin, and then everyone will have sex with Nick Frost. The end. Man, how are you gonna stretch that out into three hours of gameplay? Nick Frost is a very big man. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
don't come any closer. Kind of gave me a rape whistle. I will use it. <laughs> Either the spray or an actual mace for bludgeoning people in plate. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Action figure. Yep, she's gliding along there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use solid eye to track her footprints now? Uh, yeah. I didn't think of doing it though. Well, there's no purpose to. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, she's chasing me. I need to know where she was. That That's dumb. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and for the sake of it, one more time, <laughs> we will... Quick step bonus. <laughs> 10,000 points. One more... I'll activate the, the white dance zone one more time. Also, those noises she makes here are really weird. What are that's, they? That's a constant. not even crying anymore. That's a noise when you're really, really constipated. <laughs> if only there was a fifth ball. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that would be the pain right there. <laughs> oh, they actually do have different poses. They have like a bunch of the similar ones, and they all have like their one own. Yippee! Gotta collect them all. I gotta collect all of the dumb pictures. No, I don't. Let's shoot her. Come here. It's a different kind of crying entirely. Mm hmm. Come on. We know how this works. Lady. Just because just you have up. to play it doesn't mean we have to see it. Come on. You, you can't complain about this in the video. Uh, you made this video. Yeah. The end. It's not even a scream. Also, her hair is really weird there. Yo, Snake, I finished laundering that real gun you picked up just now. Knock yourself out. 
It's on the house. Thanks. Time for another bedtime story, Snake. This one's about crying wolf. You don't need me to tell you there's whole nations in Africa tearing themselves apart in the name of ethnic cleansing. Well, she was born into that environment. When she was a little girl, her village was attacked by rival armed factions. Her parents and siblings were slaughtered, and she was left a refugee. She took her last surviving relative, her baby brother, and ran as far as she could away from the war zone. One day, they came across an enemy unit, so she took her brother and hid in an abandoned shack. And then her brother started to cry. She knew that if the soldiers heard the noise, they would find them and kill them both. So she wrapped her hand as tight as she could around his mouth. As the footsteps gradually went away, she came back to her senses. Her brother wasn't crying anymore. Horrified, she pulled her hand away, covered in sweat and spit. He wasn't breathing. They say wolves eat their own pups when they die. She was spotted wandering through the thick of battle, carrying her dead brother in her arms. She had visions, too. A wolf walking alongside her. Every night, the wolf would howl and cry, just like her brother did that day. Eventually, she made it to a government-run refugee camp. But by then, her brother's body had rotted away. The camp was crowded with refugees like herself and little children like her brother. Day and night, she was tormented by the cries of babies. The wolf that followed her heard her sorrowful screams and answered. He made his way around the camp, and one by one, he silenced the children. She tried to stop it, but she was powerless to stop the wolf. A few days passed, and on the eve of the enemy's raid, there wasn't a child left. The adults who survived were torn up pretty bad. Of course, there was never any wolf in that camp. She was the one who killed those babies. But she couldn't bring herself to admit it. She couldn't bear the thought of herself going from one baby to the next, howling like a wolf, snuffing out their little lives. And she never did, even as Crying Wolf, a lonely beast forever stalking the battlefield. Snake, fighting with you made Wolf finally accept what she'd done. She was cleansed by you. If the cries she heard of children on the battlefield have been silenced, it's because of you. You ought to be proud. Three down, one to go. All that's left is Mantis. But you should know, Snake, she's been controlling all the other beasts. She's the beast of beasts. Don't let her get her hooks in you. I won't. See you around, Snake.
So yeah, since you do trank all the bosses, mm -hmm. and and defeating them cleanses them of their pain, do, do they just go get office jobs now when they wake up? I guess. Snake is a really amazing therapist. <laughs> Also, sometimes when you take pictures of the wolves, you'll get you'll see a ghost of Sniper Wolf, but it wasn't happening this time. But all the dogs remember you, and they have hearts floating above their heads. That wolf just—it's a camera hog. Mm hmm. Camera loves you, Wolfie. Get over here. <laughs> get over here. I'll make you a star, Wolfie. Oh. I'll make you a star. Purina, small potatoes compared to where you're going. <laughs> you'll be in the next air, bud. <laughs> Pet smarting got shit on me. <laughs> oh, and look what's over here. It's the hind. Oh, how did you crash in this and survive? Again. <laughs> and again. Fuck. Good dog. Apparently, hell is Vienna. Mm -hmm. er, <laughs> Prague. Yeah, Prague. Yes. Oh, and there's some kind of ghost here next to the helicopter. I don't know. Some shy ghost. I don't know. He's shy. Really big map, so let's fast forward a little I can't bit. Can't wait for the Ghost Hunters International episode that they're gonna have at Shadow Moses. Mm hmm. Whoop. It's the dude with the camera. I found all of the ghosts for oh, the first time. We have 40 of them. Ghosts. There wasn't even a reward for finding all of them. There's also a grenade launcher up here. Woohoo. That's that's pretty woohoo, I don't know. The calm towers. This is where you fought Liquid's hind D. Hmm. That was a tough scrape. But you still managed to shoot down his gunship. Up till then, I'd heard that even with a man pads, going one-on-one -on -one against an attack chopper was an act of suicide. I thought only Hollywood action stars did that kind of thing, but you made it look easy. I just told you, it wasn't that easy. Really? But you were all like, oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Real cool, like, like it was nothing. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get going. We got a long way to go to Rex's hangar. Yeah, you're right, Snake. Snake, you said you'd be my shit forever. You, we don't even do the handshake anymore. Oh. <laughs> so many flashbacks. Snake, so little time. Leave me alone. Uh, uh, that's a really steep hill. These dogs follow you everywhere too. They won't leave you alone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> They're all here. I love that. Not not the quote, the back the, the somersault over a handrail. Yeah, yeah. I may be five hundred oh, years no. old, but I can parkour. <laughs> oh my back. As long as it doesn't involve steep hills. I can't parkour deal with in my back up. I can't deal with inclines. Everything's gotta be a downward slope. Just put me in a sled and throw me down. Oh god, where's my hover round? Oh. <laughs> Last furnace, yes! Hold it, Snake. Time to change the disc. I know, uh, I know, it's a pain. But you need to swap disc one no. for disc two. You see the disc no. labeled two? No. No. Bad joke. Huh? Oh, wait. Oh, we're on the PS3. On no disc swapping. No. You only have to it's install the five minutes disc. in between each Double act. How convenient. Two. No Snake. need to swap. No. Damn it, Otacon. Go Get away. a grip. <laughs> yeah, what an age we live in, huh, Snake? Sony told us to put this ad in the game or else we wouldn't be able to make it. They'd say our necks, our knees would be fucking broken. <laughs> what do they think of next? Man pads, apparently. 